This is an update on PNB Rock and what's going on with his case. So Freddie Tron, the 42-year-old man who ordered his 17-year-old son to go into Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and rob and murder PNB Rock, he has been sentenced to 31 years to life in prison. Now, the 17-year-old who did this, he has been, they said that he's incompetent and he to stand trial. And right now he's in a juvenile facility and he's 19 years old. I feel like the boy knows what's going on too. At 17, you know better than that. So they need to retry him when he is competent. Because at this point, I feel like he's just playing crazy to get out of it. And so they sentenced the dad, which they should have. I mean, just to have a parent that this, you know, he should have been in jail you're instructing your own kid to go and kill somebody over some goddamn jewelry that's not going to even be that much like you could have just went and got a job so that's what's going on there his the girlfriend that was with him his baby mom they got a little girl together she's spoken out and said you know like life is hard for her since pnb rock has passed away there was no like life insurance policy he didn't have his affairs in order as far as who's gets what who's the beneficiaries and stuff like that and so she's had to make a way and she said that you know he would take care of her and her family and so now that he passed away she has to still take care of them and i i mean me personally look y'all gonna have to go get jobs I mean he's not around i don't got it like that y'all gotta go do something i can't be taking care of the whole family but you know she she was built differently and she said she's still out there getting money and you know she she did a post and thanking people but this young lady Everybody was saying, oh, she set him up. The police, she says, after he had got shot and he put her under the table and told her to get under the table. And then he ended up, you know, getting killed or whatever. The police had her in the back of the car. Like, oh, you come with us. We got to interrogate you for hours. And she didn't even know he had passed away. She, he, she was like the last person to find out. The world knew before her because she was in, being interrogated for hours. You know, and they had took her phone. So the police have since they've already cleared her and said this woman had had, you know, had nothing to do with this. This man was just hanging out. The dad, Freddie Lee Tron, was just hanging out the outside of Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and just waiting for some big timer to come in there. And lo and behold, you know, PNB Rock shows up and he, he noticed that he had some jewelry on. And that's what he sent his son in after. It's just honestly disgusting the value of a life. Like you didn't even get nothing because they picked these people up almost immediately. You know, they got away for a couple hours. So you didn't even get no money. At this point, you went and did this so that you could be sitting in prison on a on a life, you know, a life sentence. You you got literally nothing. And then I know his baby mama, the little boy's mom, is pissed off. This is when people need to choose their baby daddies and baby moms wisely. Like, you chose this man who now has your son, he find a murder case, you feel what I'm saying, over nothing. And, and y'all both in jail. Like, it's like the blind leading the blind over nothing. Like, you go get a job somewhere or, or you know, go try to make a better life other than the street gangbang shit. You know, y'all drop a comment if you heard about this. It's sad. Pray for her family and his family.